All right. Okie dokie. I am live. I'm five minutes early. Can you believe that? And I'm going to get my camera situated or my iPad. I guess that probably looks good. So I will just sit here and wait for y'all to come on. And make sure if you're um, on Facebook that you um, type in your name for me so that I know who you are. If not, I'll catch it uh, when I look at it later tonight or probably most likely tomorrow. If you're on YouTube, YouTube automatically shows your name, so that's fine. So I'm just going to sit here and wait for y'all. Marcia, how are you? Thank you for joining. I am trying to get myself, uh, get my glue dots, uh, glue dots, my, um, what are they called? Stampin' Dimensionals. I've got a whole bunch of, um, the pieces that are, um, uh, can you see them? I never, when I was teaching classes in the villages, the ladies would toss these in, the, in my little trash cans and I'd, at the end of the night I'd go out and take them back because I'm thinking, no, we don't do that. Those are good. We still got lots of stuff, but I'm trying to get the ones that have um, the full things before I get to the um, ones that are hit and miss. All right, and then I have my mini, so. Hello, how are you, whoever that is on Facebook? Welcome. I am actually early today. I'm excited. <laughs> Everything's working. Keep our fingers crossed. Oh my goodness. Okay, I've got some fun fold cards for y'all this evening. I'm excited about these new cards. Some of them you may have seen, but some of them are new to me. So, they're new to me, then y'all get to see them. <sighs> so, everything's good. I organized my... <laughs> I organized my um, craft room last week. I took everything off the tables and cleaned and kind of moved stuff around and ended up breaking my light bulb and my lamp. So I don't have one for my uh, tripod back here, but I think we're going to be fine. So good to the last drop. <laughs> good. And um, so I actually scrubbed um, the table with goo gone. I, you know, in the floor. Oh my gosh, you know, when. <laughs> You know, glue dots and mini, uh, mini glue dots and dimensionals get all over everywhere, and it's crazy. You're trying to um, keep keep it clean, so I really needed to clean. I hadn't cleaned or wiped anything off in since it's probably I, know, I shouldn't say it's probably been five months, but anyways, it's all clean and organized for now. But then I start seeing my piles of cards that I create are off to the side, and then I've got. I send off my cards to uh, Cards for Soldiers, so I've got two boxes back on one of the things that um, I've been putting them in our um, clear envelopes to package those up to get them to mail. I'm not ready to mail that many yet because I think I sent a box out early February. I want to say I probably sent, I don't know, probably 400, three to 400, probably more than that. Maybe, nah, I don't know because it, it was a large box. I didn't send several. Probably 400 cards, I guess. But anyways. So, I hope everyone's doing well. Oh, gosh, it's almost 7 o'clock. I can't believe it. Time is flying by. And the one thing I forgot to clean is my bone folder. Do you all find that your bone folder gets all gooey? Look at that, all the goo on it. I need to clean that off, but I'll do that later. Anyways, so we're going to, uh, we'll give it a couple of more minutes since um, several people tend to come on a little bit late. 
Um, so it's seven o'clock, so we'll give it about three more minutes. And then we will get started, because again, we're gonna be doing three cards this evening, and I've got all my measurements written out. At least I hope I do, yeah. Oh my goodness gracious. Oh, I gotta turn the TV off, hold on. I'll be back in just a second, I forgot. I've got the news on, let me turn that off. What you thinking? Okay, I am back. Ugh. Okay. All right. We are taking a um, we are taking a vacation in early May down to the British Virgin Islands, um, and my husband has been working on. We're chartering a boat. He used to have his own charter business down there, running catamaran. So we're renting a I think it's a forty nine or fifty foot. Um, motorized catamaran hello and um, the there is the two other couples that are going and they said they didn't care if we sailed or not they just wanted to be on the water go snorkeling do diving and all that stuff hey Karen Joe and um, so we're doing that in early May and he's been making reservations for um, the um, oh shoot one dock to dock and then the mooring balls you, you actually they allow you to make anyways he's doing all that working on different things so here for a half hour mission at church live stream oh good so um ahoy caption who's that oh okay <laughs> that'd be karen joe <laughs> thank you karen joe i saw my email earlier today hope you got a bunch of good stuff yeah i'm looking forward to it one couple um i've never met so that's a little scary when you're on a boat with people you don't know. But this won't be so bad because we're not going to be on the water the entire time, you know. Because if you're if you're out with people you don't know very well and um, you don't get along with them, you ain't got so far to go. But we're going to be just traveling a few hours a day and then hitting different um, different islands. And of course, they want to um, go scuba diving, which I don't do because I'm claustrophobic. So, um, anyways. So I said, as long as I just lay on the boat and get some sun, I'm good. I'm a ha I'll be a happy little camper. So, all right, we're gonna start in about another minute or so where we've got people popping in. Hello, Idaho, how are you? So it should be fun. I'm gonna try to pre-record stuff um, before I go. Can't spell caption. <laughs> well, I saw, I saw I said caption, but I figured, I thought you meant ahoy captain. I understood it. I understood what you uh, typed in there, but that's okay. Oh Lord, I put in here to, I th thought I put in here to silence all my emails and stuff and they're popping up over my screen. But anyways, yeah, I just, I'm looking forward to going, not so much with people that I don't know that well, but it's okay. I get along pretty much with anybody. If they get on my nerves, I'll just go to the other end of the boat. <laughs> you know, so um, it'll be fine. And then we've got to put, we're probably going to eat out every night. We're, we're going to put a food order in um, where they'll deliver the food to the boat, like for breakfast and have some lunch items and stuff like that, just so that we can, um, you know, if, it, if the weather's bad and we st want to stay on the boat, we can have something to eat at least. So, all right, I'm going to, um, while we're waiting, I'm going to go ahead and do my spiel and do my, um, you know, don't forget this and that and all this other good stuff. So for those that don't know, I believe me, I will have lots of cocktails. Well, I mean, not a lot, but you know, I'll be, in, yes, I'll be definitely taking advantage of my cocktails. I'll probably be bringing my own, my own cup because I have, you know, my own sippy cup. Anyways, okay, so for those that don't know me, I'm Dawn Duvall. I'm an independent demonstrator with Stampin' Up! And I've been with, I became a demonstrator in, actually I thought it was February, it was January, the end of January 2011. So, anyways, so tonight we're going to be doing three fun fold cards, and I'm excited. I've not seen these before, so um, it, I'm looking forward to it. Um, let me turn, flip the camera down. Okay, come back and watch the replay. I'm going to flip the camera down. And um, just to remind you, we're at the end of the, we're coming into the end of the month. So celebration will, uh, runs out on the 28th of February. And these are the additional items that have been added, which I really find interesting that, uh, let me try to get in the camera, 
they put in here the enjoy the journey paper and that's that paper that has all of the um, um, the background like the mountain scenes and all that that you can get as a celebration you can get the into the clouds embossing folder another embossing folder and some dies and Eden's garden you can get the bundle if you spend a hundred dollars that's in addition to what's in the other catalog I did find out that the um, oh the dainty uh, the the paper the dainty delights I think it is not the dandy but it's the dainty that paper is now out of stock it's gone so you cannot order that so if there's something that you want I highly uh, would encourage you to get your orders in because things are uh, flying off the you know off the shelves pretty wildly and um, with any time of, as I mentioned before if you uh, shop with me and spend $50 in my online store then you'll get a tutorial bundle and this month it's 44 uh, tutorials and this is these are created by myself and 43 other demonstrators from all across the United States and some in some other countries as well so um, a lot of good information um, a lot of it with nothing else it gives you some inspiration it gives you ideas so all the instructions and pictures and everything are included so it's a really nice that's a really nice um, thing to take advantage of I email that to you once I see that your order comes in did you all happen to see my one sheet wonder that I did the other day where I took uh, the designer paper from on the day at the farm and the paper it was that one piece the scene do you, do you all, did y'all see it? Go to my, on YouTube, if you haven't seen it. And this is a one sheet wonder. I'm gonna pu push this up a little bit so that you can see how we cut the paper to keep the scenes somewhat together. So we got, um, we actually created four cards. Actually, I can make five because this piece was left over. Let me show you right here. And I could stamp something on here. So I'm gonna make this into a card. So really you can get five cards out of that one 12 by 12 paper. So if you didn't see this, uh, go look at YouTube and it's day at the farm uh, one sheet wonder I just did it like two days ago it's also on my um, I think it's on my Facebook uh, page I'm not sure don't hold me to that so all right let's get started we are going to be working with one of our celebration a beautifully happy stamp set when did you do that um, I did it, I want to say two days ago. What's today? Oh, wait a minute. Wait, wait, wait. Did I do it Saturday or Friday? It's been, um, today's what, Tuesday? Monday, Sunday. It's been within the last three or four days. Um, yeah, it's, look on my YouTube channel. It's going to be under, um, it won't be under live, so it's just going to be under the normal, uh, thing, and it should be one of the first to couple that you come to it should be right in the front page um, if you can't find it just uh, shoot me a message and I'll send you the link and um, so anyways we're gonna be working with the beautifully happy and this is one of the sets that you can get through celebration with a hundred dollar order and this is a two-step um, uh, stamp and the nice thing about whoops, I just dropped my bone folder hold on sorry about that um, this is a nice thing about this these here and I'm going to show you something all right, here are the um, the outlines, and I find if you stamp the outlines first and then come back, and these are the ones that do the color, and I sometimes find these little things on here, and I don't know what to do with them. So this thing right here, if you, I'm trying to get it in the camera. Let me see, where are we? Okay, this little thing right here, I'm moving around, goes on this plant, this little flower right there, and then this guy right here he goes on this flower right there see the little inside the insert and then I think this little thing I'm not sure what that's for but I think it's for the insert here I don't know but anyways so you use almost all of these when you're doing your coloring so we're gonna make two cards using this particular stamp set and then we're doing one that's um, playing in the rain okay so uh, let's go ahead let me put my little sheets back in here because that keeps them from sticking to each other I love the how uh, Stampin' Up! has started doing this, putting our um, stamps on the cover so we don't have all that mess. All right, so let's get started. Now, this card um, I created, let me take my notes off, and I'll give you the, di uh, the dimensions as we go. Okay, so this one is, um, this one I did in uh, T Tahitian Tide, just to let you know that. And um, it's, uh, isn't that a fun fold? 
Isn't that cute? I don't know if y'all have seen that before, but I thought that was really cute. And we're gonna use some of the um, the in uh, the in color 22-24 in color paper um, is where I got this from. So I'll give you the measurements as we go. And um, so this is what we're gonna make, but we're gonna do it in Starry Sky. So I'm gonna set this off um, for now. And we're gonna come in and I'll give you the everything. See, there's a lot of pieces to it, but once you get it all cut, it's not so bad. Okay, and then I've got a piece here. Nope, I didn't. This one I think is for my envelopes. So we're gonna put that one there. We're gonna decorate our envelopes too. All right, so you're gonna start out with your um, paper that is, let me bring in my paper trimmer because we do have to do a little bit of cutting. So let's do that part first and then I'll give you the rest of the measurements. Okay, four and a quarter by 11, and I don't need that open, and we're gonna score this at five and a half, so let me get this turned around, and we're gonna score this at five and a half, and then what we're going to do, uh, we're gonna score this at five and a half, and then I'm gonna score it again at two and an eighth, so let me get down here to two and an eighth, I think that's right right about there okay yep two and an eight all right now and it's gonna be hard because this is really hard to see but I am going to right here on this top part right here we want to find the center mark right and we're gonna make a mark uh, as soon as I find a, hang on a minute I didn't bring a pencil hold on let me grab my pencil oh it's right here okay so on this part here, that's right above where we scored the two and an eighth, because this is going to fold, we're going to make a mark in the center of this. So this should be at um, two and an eighth, right? Because it's four and a quarter. So we're going to find our two and an eighth mark. And we're just going to put a little mark right here at the two and an eighth. So it's going to be right there. And I know you can't see this because it's dark. I should have done it in light paper. Okay. So make a mark at the two and eighth, um, two and an eighth. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna put that in our paper trimmer and we're gonna, and I'm gonna fold this so that we can see the score line, okay? We're gonna cut from that tip down to the score line, all right? Let me see if I can zoom in just a little bit. I don't wanna, go, hang on one second, let me see. And I know I probably should have done a lighter color. So I'm gonna line this up. I'm gonna line my uh, score line up first and then I'll get that little guy right in there. And we're gonna cut that up so we're gonna make this triangle, which is what our paper is gonna sit on, okay? And now I'm gonna do the same thing. And you can flip it over, but since my mark's there, I don't wanna lose my mark, so I'm going to line this up again, and we're gonna get my score line in, and get my little part right there. Whoops, hang on, you gotta be careful because sometimes it turns on you. So we're gonna get, uh, actually, I mean, it'd be easier, let me just do it this way, because I can see the tip. All right, I'm gonna line my score line right up there. I'm gonna get that in the, in the um, track. I think that should give us our, hang on one second, there you go. That'll give us our tip. All right, so that's what we should end up with, okay? All right, so these pieces we're just gonna toss. Let me zoom out a little bit. Let me go back, whoops, not in. Hang on, making everybody dizzy. Okay, so that's what we're gonna attach um, um, the piece that gives this flap right here. This is what we're gonna attach that to, okay? See how it goes? All right, so there's that. So let's move this out of the way, and then I'll give you the measurements for the other card. So I'm gonna fold this at five and a half, and I'm gonna give it a burnish with my bone folder. Okay, so the next thing, we're gonna have all of our paper, and you're gonna cut um, your designer paper you want to cut, um, and you can, I'm going to do the same pieces, it's just that's this side. I've got my camera backwards, so um, I've got it to my left instead of my right, so I apologize if I keep going off screen. So I'm just using the back side of the same paper. So this piece here is, um, this one's cut at uh, four and an eighth. Let me see, that doesn't look like four and an eighth, but let's see. Uh... This is, oh, I'm sorry, I gotta put my white one down. The white one is at five, and I'm gonna just give them to y'all at one time. This is a four and an eighth by five and three eighths. This one is um, three and seven eighths by five and an eighth. So 
so we're just going to layer them so you can do the I just want a little bit of the white showing but you can do it by quarters instead of eight so we're going to do um, a basic white and then we're going to put this piece on there and that will be the base for that okay so let's go ahead and uh, pop these down we'll go ahead and glue these together now I'm want I'm gonna put my uh, checks on the top and then I'm gonna put my dots on the other for the front of the card I'm gonna do it do it the same way that I did this one so I just add my adhesive and we'll lay this down on the white sometimes if you don't want when you do the quarters to um, line everything up it, if you don't want as much of the back the bottom card showing then just cut it down to an eighth and then that covers up if you want more than you cut them at your quarters all right so that's good so we're gonna go ahead and lay this one down and we'll go ahead and attach that to the inside of the card all right this is really an easy card it's just it's just all cutting all the paper and stuff you know all right so there's the inside all right now we've got uh, two pieces here, which is the same design. I'm just flipping them over. And then these two pieces are three by four inches. And then our whites that they're gonna sit on are um, uh, three and an eighth by four and an eighth. So I just went up an eighth of a eighth of a mark. So what we'll do is we're gonna place this one. Uh, we're gonna place that one here. And then we'll do the other one on the front right here. Okay, so let's do that. See, it's really easy when you when, once you get the hang of it. And then um, you're going to take, you're going to make, and then after you uh, get these done, you're going to cut two, uh, two and three quarter inch uh, squares. Okay, so two and three quarter inch squares. And that's what we're going to turn at an angle and make them look like our, um, our diamond, if you will. All right, so I'm just gonna lay that on here. So we'll go ahead and see how easy, I mean, it's coming together. It's pretty easy once you get everything cut out. And it really does make a statement when you send out this card, right? So we're gonna place this one right here. We'll get that in there, hopefully we got it lined up. I know this paper is kind of dark, but I like this color, believe it or not. And then we've got our other piece. And I don't use it as often. Now, um, you know, with our new catalog coming out, we've got new in colors. And I'm really sad because I have, you know, Evening Evergreen and Soft Succulent have been one of my go to greens for the most part. Um, if I'm doing like any kind of outdoor shrubbed, you know, shrubs or trees or whatever, I'm hoping, I don't know if they're, I'm assuming they're going to retire, but everybody's talking about them doing a refresh, meaning they're going to. Uh, bring in new colors or old colors and shift the brights and the neutrals and all that stuff around So who knows what's going to take place, but we'll find out soon enough. Okay, so that's going to go on there All right, so that's our card Isn't that cute now. So the next thing we're going to do is I have my two squares And I'm going to this one's going to go in here, but before I attach it I'm going to stamp my cards and I'm going to do my um, stamps so I'm going to use I gotta find my ink, here we go. I'm gonna do Starry Sky, obviously. And um, for the color of the flowers, give me just a second. So we're gonna do the inside one first, cause it's a small one, and then we'll come back and do the other one. Let me put my pencil over there. All right, so I'm gonna come in with, let me take this off. This is the small uh, flower, and we're gonna use this one um, in the bottom and I'm gonna turn it at an angle and I'm gonna stamp it right about here I just inked this um, pad so I'm gonna have to let that sit because I think I got a little bit too much uh, ink on memento ink all right so we've got that and then we're gonna do our sentiment which um, let's see what sentiment did I pull out hang on one second let's see sending happy thoughts is it this one I can't remember which one I'm using for a very happy birthday I think it's that one all right I think I'm gonna do this one sending happy thoughts so I'm gonna stamp this in our starry sky and I'm gonna stamp that right about here okay all right and then we're gonna come back with our um, flower part that we're then going to line up and stamp this right here now, one thing that gives you gives it away, and I don't know if you can see it, is do you see right here this little 
thing in the center, that kind of gives you it away because it's going that way. So that's how you can help line it up. That's if you don't get ink on it. All right, so I'm gonna line this up and then there's larger um, loops that are coming down here. So that should help you with your lining up as well. So I'm going to take a look before I add any ink to it and I'm gonna make sure if I'm in line, which this part right here is gonna go where those two are. So I'm gonna go ahead and add a little bit of my color, which I think I've got way too much. Hang on a second, take some of that off. Now some of it, when you stamp it, it's gonna, um, some's gonna be kind of darker than others. So we're gonna stamp this one. If it's too dark, then um, actually let's stamp off and see what that does. Let me, let me get a scrap paper here. Let's just do a little stamp off and see if that, yeah, that was a little blotchy. All right, so I'm gonna bring this in and it really is hard when you use a dark color. All right, here goes nothing, let's see. All right, we're gonna put that down there. And it's a little, that's a little bit much on the ink. We definitely wanna stamp that off. All right, so for future reference, if you're using a, a, a newer pad that's really inky, you might wanna stamp it off a couple of times. Okay, I'm gonna come back. So I know when I do my next card, uh, the front, I'll do it a little differently. I'm gonna use Parakeet Party, and I'm going to use, let me put this little stamp right there so I don't lose it, uh, the little pieces to do this part right here. So I'm gonna ink this up, and then this you just line up and pop down. Okay, so this one, not too thrilled about. I think we should try it again. Let's flip it over, because I don't like that. All right, hang on, let's do this again. That's why we have two-sided paper. All right, hang on a minute. Let's try this again. Let's do, let's try it and see if we can get it a little bit better. All right, I think I'll stamp off. Okay, we got that. Now let's get the color in. So let's try that one more time. All right, hang on a minute. All right, we're gonna get this little guy. Take this one off. All right, so I'm going to add a little, I'm just going to lightly lay it on here. Just this ink is so dark. So let's, um, I'm going to stamp off again. Okay, see how dark that is? All right, let's try that and see how that goes. And we are going to flip this around because that little guy in the center is going to go right there. And, oh, much better. That is much better. Yes, I like that one. All right, and then we're gonna take this little stamp thing and we're gonna stamp the inside of that right there. Let me see if I can show you. See that piece right there? We're gonna stamp that with the uh, parakeet party, or parakeet, yeah, is it parakeet party? Yeah, parakeet party. All right, so I've got that. Let me move this out of the way. I'm standing up so I can see. And I'm just gonna plop that down right about there. There we go. And then we have to do our green, these leaves again. So let's get those on there. And so doing this, like when you're doing these lining up things and you're, you're sitting down, it's really hard if you can't see it in front of you. Okay, so that's not so bad. All right, let's stamp our sentiment again. Let me move my um, pieces out of the way here. All right, let's get a little bit of the stamp on there, not so much of the ink. And we're gonna push that right about here. Okay, all right, let me cover up this green for now. Let me cover up this guy for now. We'll use him on the next card. Um, no, we're not, we're gonna use it on this card. Okay, all right, give me a second. Let me clean that off. All right, so this one is going to go on here and we're just gonna glue it, just glue it right there in the center. It doesn't give you a lot of room, but you can always add another piece on the back if you wanted. Um, if you're gonna write a larger note, you could put it on the back of the card, okay? So we'll take this and we're gonna uh, place that right about there. All right, okay, so there's that. All right, now we're gonna do the piece that goes here, right? So this one, we're gonna come in and we're gonna stamp as well. And we're gonna use this big stamp. So I'm gonna ink this up. Now granted, all of this is not gonna go on the actual uh, card, the white, basic white, but we're gonna just stamp whatever we can fit on here. And then we'll, we're gonna do the same thing. We'll do our two step. So what I'm gonna do is try to get as much of the flower on here. The stem and one of the bottom leaves won't, um, 
be on here, but that's okay. So I think that looks good. So we're just gonna push that down and make sure we get all of our ink on here, our memento black. Okay, so there we go. All right, let me, give me one second. Let me clean this one off. Well, I might as well let me use it again. Okay, so now we're gonna come back with our next, these are our leaves. I know, these are the flowers. See, there's all sorts of things we've got here. <laughs> so, all right, I'm gonna do my leaves first because I just, I think it's gonna be easier. And then I'll come back and do my purple. I don't know, that's just the way I'm gonna do it. All right, so the, these are the, um, this is the flower part and it lines it up so you can see. You got a flower here and you got this little piece right here and that's gonna line up right there. And then when we get to the, the leaves, these are gonna line up as well. When you turn it around, you've got the leaf that's gonna go right here. Hang on a minute, I gotta get it twisted, yeah. Uh, hold on a minute, twist it, twist it. That's not right, it's gotta go this way. Yeah, because here's the big leaf and there's that leaf. So I think I'm gonna do the green first and then we'll come back and do the uh, starry sky. And then these little bubble things are gonna do this part right here, okay? So let's go ahead and ink up our leaves. And that's gonna be a little bit too much, so hang on, let me um, grab my sheet of paper. Oh, well, it's right in front of me. <laughs> I've got grid paper and grid paper. All right, this has got too much ink, so I'm gonna take some of that off. But isn't that pretty, though? All right, so let me just do, um, you have to be really careful, because this stuff really um, takes up, and I don't like that either. All right, let's try that. I don't think this one's gonna go in there. Okay, so I'm gonna line up these leaves. And you just, if you hover over, and you've already got the outline there, it's very easy to see where you need to go. And I need a little bit of ink right there, because I didn't get any. And that's probably gonna leave, um, hang on a minute, I'm taking just a tad off, okay. All right, so I'm gonna line up. This leaf goes here, and that's gonna go there, and I think that's gonna look pretty good. So I'm gonna push that down. Isn't that neat? It kind of gives it, now that one didn't, I didn't get enough ink on that. So let me, I'm gonna try to add a little bit more. So bear with me just a second. I think I can probably get that. I think I need to get some more ink on him. We're gonna try and see. Line these up. Bear with me a second. He needs a little bit more ink. He doesn't need that much, but there we go. Okay, now we're going to take the green, these little guys here, because these, if you see, this one, this piece right here, comes over to here on this flower, and then it covers this one, and then all those three there. It's really clever how they did this. So I'm just gonna line, try to line up the best I can, and I normally just hover where I get, I know this one I've gotta pay attention to, and then those three pretty much line themselves up, and there you go, okay? So that wasn't too bad. All right, now we'll come in with our scary, scary, our starry, no, it's scary, all right, our starry uh, color. So give me one second, let me take the, uh, get the ink off of these, and, because we're gonna need that again, and then we're gonna come in with, let me close this up, come back with our starry sky, and then we're gonna come in with the flower part, which is this one. And I'm gonna stamp off on this one a little bit as well, because I think that's gonna be a little dark. See how dark that is? All right, and then this one, can you see how it's gonna hover? So we're gonna come over here, and I'm going to hover this there, and make sure I've got, I don't use bow pigments. All right, so we're gonna hover it and you know what, it, it could look like it's watercolored or whatever. I'm not too concerned if it doesn't cover it all the way. It's a card. And it's not too bad. I mean, I left a little bit off, but I'm not going to be concerned about that. And I don't think whoever gets the card is going to care either, you know. So, as I've said before, you cannot be a perfectionist in the world of stamping. All right, so we're going to take that and we're going to add this piece right on here. And we're going to put it on at an angle, so we want to get 
our, um, what am I doing here? Hang on a minute. Um, duh. We're going to hook this on here, and then this piece is going to hang over so that when we fold it, it's going to cover up that inside. All right. So I'm just going to leave a little bit of a border so I know I can't really go much further than right here. So when I add my ink, or my ink, my glue, I can do this side and here, and we'll come down on here, okay? So you just gotta be careful with that. All right, so we're gonna lay this on here. Make sure we've got a good burnish on it. All right, so we're gonna lay that, um, yeah, we'll do it like this. Let me think about this. Oh, you know what I should have done? Oh yeah, it's gonna go this way. Ah, did I put my glue on the wrong spot? I think I did, because that looks funny. It should go like that. Okay, guess what? We're gonna cut another piece of paper. I put my glue on the wrong spot. Let me cut a two by uh, two and three quarter square. Give me one second. Give me a momento, go figure that one. Let me grab a scrap piece of paper. I thought I had it right, but I didn't. So here we go. Two and three quarters. We'll just cut it real fast. It won't take long to, to uh, cut that one. Two and three quarters, if I'm not mistaken. Yep, two and three quarters square. That was my fault. Because I put the glue, I was looking at it. I didn't have it on, I didn't have my flower going this way. I had it turned that way, and that doesn't make sense. It really should go like that. So I have glue on the wrong spot. So we're not using this one. We'll put him in the trash bin. Okay, real quick, we'll stamp this up and, and uh, do it one more time. Sorry about that. But see, now you get to see, do it again. All right. I am late. That's okay if you're late. It's fine. I'm making mistakes, so no biggie. <laughs> Imagine that. But I want y'all to see that we all make mistakes, right? Nobody can do stuff that's perfect. At least uh, most people can't. And I'm definitely one of those. Wipe the glue off quick. Oh, oh, I probably should, shouldn't I? I can use that again. Didn't think about that. Whoever told me that's smart. Very good. And I'll save that. That can dry and I'll save it for later. We'll do it. I'll use it on another card. Okay, so let's go ahead and I'm going to do this again. We'll do this pretty quickly. All right, so these are the flowers. Let me get my ink out again. Sorry about that, you guys. Here I'm trying to tell you it's easy. And the two-step is, you know, it is... You just have to be careful. And that, I mean, the stamping part wasn't that hard. It was me adding the glue like the dodo head. All right, I'm definitely stamping off because this is a dark, dark color. I'm gonna go ahead and um, add my color to my flower since I have this one. Actually, it still looks a little dark. Let me make it a little bit lighter. There we go. All right, so I'm gonna line this up and give me just a second so I can find my line up piece here. All right, I think I got that. All right, here we go. Push that down. Yeah, I think that looks much better. That stamped off that twice. That was two times we stamped off. Okay, so we have that. Now let's bring back in our parakeet party and we'll get our leaves done. And we've got those. I'm gonna stamp these off as well. And then we're gonna line these guys up. So, and I, let me, um, flip this over because that's a little distracting, isn't it? All right, so let's get this in here and we'll get this one. There we go. All right, well, that's even better looking, isn't it? Okie doke, and then we're gonna come back with this little green guy and we're gonna stamp off as well. And then we'll come over here and get that lined up and the leaves and all those little berries or buds or whatever they are. Perfect. All right, and then the next thing is I need to get my little, this little guy here and we're gonna ink him up and, oh, that one doesn't go on this one. Never mind. I'm gonna put a jewel in there, so don't, don't worry about it. Okay, hang on, we're hurrying. Let me clean this off. Okay, let's try this again. Do I have everything? I got everything on there. Okay, I knew something wasn't looking right. So we want our flower, and I probably could have gone, we want it to go like that, because I want it to look like that, okay? So now we know, 
I'm going to put my glue on this side. So let's try that again. We'll come down and come down and I'm going to come down just a little bit here and I'll probably come across this way. Whoopsie. All right. Am I having issues? Is it me or am I just being kind of... Okay, good. Whew, for a minute there, I thought I got too much glue on here. All right, so we're gonna lay that on there. I'm gonna just leave a slight border and we'll put that right on there. There we go. And there is that part right there and I've got a little bit of glue. So let me wipe that off real quick. I'll just use my fingers and put it on the craft mat. And I'm just gonna lay this down here for a minute and get it all nice and tucked on there. All right, there's our card. So now we're gonna take some of our uh, matte dots. These are the 22-24 um, matte decorative dots. And I'm gonna take some of the um, uh, Parakeet Party. I'm gonna put this guy right in the center. All right, whoopsie, he didn't go in the center. All right, he's missing his glue. So hold on, let me pick another one. This one we'll put right in the center. Well, for whatever reason, I'm not picking them up with the glue. There we go. This one should have right there. Did that one stay? Sometimes you gotta really dig deep to get the um, to get the ones that have the glue. And then I'm just gonna put a few on the um, back side, a little bit around, I'll put one there, and then I'll put another uh, dark one over on this side. All right, so there's that card. Okay, took me a little bit longer. All right, so there you go. So you open it, and then there's your message, and then you close it. And if you wanna write a longer message, then you can just put something right back there. But isn't that a cute card? I thought it was really cute. And this could have been moved over a little bit more. I mean, you can shift it over depending on what kind of stamp you're using, right? That one takes up a little bit of space. All right, and then we're gonna do our envelope. So let's do that real quick. And then we'll move on to the next card. So I'm gonna get my uh, seal. And I think I'm gonna do the dots on here. So we'll just go ahead and add our adhesive. And right there, I've got a little dot right here. I'm gonna toss him in the trash can. All right, so let's lay this on here. And normally I cut these about two and three eighths, two and a half. This was already pre, I'd already cut it for something else. So, all right, and then we're just gonna trim this up. And we'll move on to the next card. Hang on a minute. This always is, always looks good. And this helps use up, use up our paper that we tend to hoard, right? Especially if you have smaller pieces. You know, if you have any two and a half inch strips of something, you can use that to decorate your envelope. And I'll just cut that, trim that off. All right, so there you go. There is our first card. Isn't that cute? So there's an easy one. All right, we're moving on because we got lots of things to do. Give me one second. Let me um, clean off my stamps real quick because I think we're using this one again. And hang on a minute. Just want to make sure I don't lose any pieces here. Oopsie. Okay, so there's that one. Number one's down. That's only taken me 30 minutes to do that. <laughs> okay, next. All right, here's our next one. This one is the double flap card. Ooh, oh, there's all my things. I was wondering why all my little um, things, they came off on this. Hang on a second. All my little dots are on my envelope because they were laying on top of the dots. That wasn't very smart, was it? All right, let me just throw those over there. All right. And I got a piece of glue right there. Okay. This is, let me get my pieces out and I'll give you the directions for this one as well. All right, hang on a minute. I gotta get my envelope. And this is gonna go for the envelope, so we'll leave that there. All right, so here's the same. We're gonna use the same stamp, but we're doing different colors. This is a double, uh, double flap card is what they call it. Gotta keep going. All right, so this is the first, so look at this. All right, this is really easy. It's just, you got all these little pieces you gotta cut. All right, so it opens like that, and then it opens like that. Isn't that cute? All right, so here goes the directions. You ready? Um, the measurements. 
All right, hang on a minute. Let me get my stuff together. Okay, your card base is going to be four and a quarter by 11. Okay, then you're going to cut off two and three. You're going to cut it at eight and a quarter, which leaves you uh, two and three quarters, which is this little piece right here. Okay, so four and a quarter by 11, right? Score it at five and a half. And then you're going to cut this off at eight and a quarter and you're going to use this piece so keep that all right so that's that that's going to be this piece right here the, the card piece then you're going to have the inside card and this is three inches by eight and you're going to score this at four okay and uh let me make sure i got that right yet oh i'm sorry two and i'm sorry ten this is three and a quarter my apologies Three and a quarter. Let me just make sure. Where's my ruler? Hold on. Hang on. I just hang him up here. Oh, it's buried underneath all my stuff. Yeah, I apologize. This is three and a quarter by 10 inches. Scored at five. Okay. And then we're going to have, we got that. And so we got a card base. We have the inside card. So I'm going to go ahead and fold this one and we're going to burnish it. And then I'll give you the pieces in just a minute for the, um, the other pieces all right and then we'll burnish that in just a minute all right uh, this piece is four by five um, this is four and an eighth no wait a minute four by five and a quarter sorry so that's gonna go here all right and then we're going to um, have these two pieces of designer paint now this is the new gingham this is the petal pink that has the uh, blue on the background the baby um, so this piece here is gonna go on the front and this piece is uh, two and three quarters by four and a quarter, if I'm not mistaken. Two and three quarters by four and a quarter. No, never, ignore me, I'm lying again. Hang on a minute. D we're looking at designer paper. I apologize, this is four by two and a half. My apologies, four by two and a half, that's gonna go on the top part right there, okay? So four by two and a half. Then we're gonna have this piece that we already cut, right? And then the paper, the designer piece for this one should be, um, this is two and a half by, oh, by four and an eighth. So this is two and a half by four and an eighth and that's gonna go on there. And then you're gonna have your uh, basic white. This is going to be three and an eighth by four and seven eighths, and that's going to go on that little piece there. And then this one is, no, I'm sorry, pardon me. This is four and an eighth by two and five eighths. I apologize. Two and an eighth. I'm sorry. Let's start all over. Four and an eighth, four and an eighth by two and five eighths. And then you'll have two that are uh, three and an eight, three and an eight by four and seven eighths. Okay. And that's going to go on here on the front of this card. And then this will go on the inside and that's where, where you're going to uh, put your, your uh, sentiment and this we're going to stamp and this we're going to stamp. Okay. I hope that makes sense. All right. So I'm going to leave this guy sitting right here off to the side. So let's try this again. All right, we have our base, so we're gonna add this piece on here. We're not, gonna, we're not putting a piece of um, white underneath. This is gonna be our paper that we are gonna be using. So let's go ahead, and this is from the um, Country Lane, the Country Floral. I just really like this, but I thought that might be a little too busy, so that's why I, I changed it up. Okay, so this piece is gonna go on here. I just love this, it's really a fun card. It just has a lot of pieces to it. So once you get the measurements and start cutting it, it's really, it goes pretty fast. All right, and then this is the piece that's gonna go right here. So we're gonna go ahead and add that. And I, you know, I just tried to use the different, three different designs, so it gives it a different look. So we have the hearts, and then we'll have some, uh, the gingham, some squares, and then we'll have the, the diamond shaped. All right, so that's gonna go there. All right, so that's the base of our card, all right? So the next thing we're gonna do is we are going to go ahead and I'm gonna add, actually, let me stamp, because I like to put my stamp images on everything before I um, put everything together. 
So on this one, the bigger one, I'm gonna stamp the same stamp, what I did there, and we're gonna color it um, with the colors, obviously, that coordinate. So let me just clean off my stamp real quick. We'll get this one inked up. We might be going over a little bit, you guys, only because I messed up with that first card, but anyways, hopefully you won't mind. Probably it's 40. Ooh, we might be going over a little bit longer than I thought. All right, so I'm huffing on that one. All right, so we're gonna put this guy all the way on here, and I'm gonna turn this one, I think I'll do a little bit at an angle. Let's push it right about there. I just love that um, evening evergreen and the petal pink. I just think that is so pretty. Okay, so here we go again. We're gonna pull in our leaves and our flowers. One thing to let you all know, even though you clean your photopolymer, if you spray this with your uh, mist, your Stampin' Mist that we sell, um, that will help remove a lot of that stain as well, just to let you know. It won't take it all off, but it will help some, okay? All right, we're gonna do petal pink for our flowers. So we'll go ahead and ink this up. And I think we'll be fine on this one because petal pink is not really a dark color. All right, so let's line up our flowers again and get these so that we can see. I'm gonna turn this a little bit at an angle and try to line everything up. And I'm gonna get a little bit closer because the closer you get, you can start to see where your lines are and how to, um, how to move your paper and the ink. Okay, I think that's good. So we'll go with that. I'm gonna let that sit for just a second. Okay. All right, and then we're gonna come back with our leaves and we're gonna use, let me take this off, and we're gonna use the Evening Evergreen. I just love this color. I hope this one stays, but it probably not because it's gonna retire, but oh my gosh, I love this this color. All right, and this is um, not quite full, oh yeah, it's a little bit full strength, but it's not quite as dark as that starry sky, that's for sure. All right, so now I'm gonna line up all of my leaves and Let's see how we do with this one. I gotta move the bottom one over. I'm gonna hover a little bit closer. And I think I'm in good shape. So I'm gonna go ahead and push these down. There we go, off just a little bit, but that's okay. It could be a shadow, we don't know. All right, then I'm gonna come back with our little guys here. And we've got a little bit of ink on him. And then we're gonna come over, now this right here, is gonna go right there, and then that's gonna cover that leaf right there. So we're gonna line that one up there, and then everything else hopefully falls into place. And we're gonna stamp it down. Oh, isn't that gorgeous? Okay, and then there's another stamp, and let me find him, because I did pull him out of here. Hang on. This little guy here, nope, that's not it, that's the other one, hang on. What did I do with him? I might have lost him. Oh well. Anyways, we're just gonna put we'll put a little thingy there. I might I might um, I thought I brought it in here. Let me see. Oh, here it is. Nope, that's not it. Let me see if it's in. Hang on a minute. Let me see if it's in the stamp um, stamp set because it's got the um, the piece that we can stamp. Oh, it's right here. I think this is supposed to stamp that little piece right there, if I'm not mistaken. So I am going to stick this on a little block and we'll put, let's do, should we put, a, would that be green or do you think that would, yeah, let's do it as green. Let's see how that goes. Let me see how this stamps. Yeah, just a little blob. There we go, perfect. Okay, all right, give me a minute. I'm gonna move all these stamps out of the way and then we'll move on. I only have but so much room, so bear with me. <laughs> Y'all didn't know you are going to be spending the night with me, did you? Okay. All right. So, let's get this guy out of the way. Oh, we got to stamp another one too, don't we? Or did I? Yeah, we're going to do a little one. That's okay. Yeah, I'll leave this open. Nah, let me shut this. Nah, let me leave it open because we got to stamp. I can't make up my mind. What am I doing? Okay, we're going to come in with our little stamp again. So let me get a block for that one. I'm gonna do the same thing I did on here. We're just gonna stamp the little, oh, I don't think I cut that piece. I need to do that. I'm gonna stamp that little piece right there. So give me one minute and we're gonna ink this guy up. I'm gonna put the ink over there so I don't get in the way. 
I forgot to uh, cut me a piece of strip of um, my pink there. So I'm just gonna lay this right about here and then I'll get my little strip. I forgot to cut that piece. Actually, I had a piece sitting around and I think I tossed it. So let me see, hang on one second. Let me look. Yep, I do. I've got one right here. Ha! Okay. All right, so we have that, and then um, let's do our quickie little uh, stamp that one and get that one colored. I gotta take some of the stuff off my blocks. All right, so this one we're gonna do in uh, petal pink. Let me move these out of the way. And the next card shouldn't be that uh, shouldn't be that difficult. Okay, so this one we're gonna stamp right here, and that's got that little hole there for that. Piece, so it helps to line up line the stamp up as well so we're going to stamp that and then we'll come back in with our evergreen and we're going to add this piece here which let me locate him bear with me one second I've got pieces all over and where'd he go there little bubba where are they it's the two little guys Oh, no, that's not them. Okay. Oh, they're over here. Nope, that's not it either. Hang on a minute. Did I pull them out? I know I did because I used them on the other card. All right, bear with me a second. I've lost a little. That's why I don't like these little stamps. They're so small. Hang on. Give me a second. I'm trying to find. Bear with me. I'm trying to find my other stamp. That's the color. Oh, my goodness. I think I've lost it. No, 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 no. It's probably stuck in here on something. Oh, there it is. It's on the back of my other block. Good Lord. Okay, sorry about that, guys. All right, we're going to take this, get that inked up. I know it's comedy hour, isn't it? And we're going to put that right there. Oh, it makes it look so easy, doesn't it, when you can find all your pieces. All right, and then we've got the one little piece here that we're gonna stamp the inside. This little guy, look at that little tiny thing right there. And we're gonna stamp that right in there. Okay, so let's move that. Whoopsie, I'm gonna lose all of my pieces here. All right, I think we're done with that. Oh, let's add, do we wanna add the bumblebee? Nah, let's don't, or we could. I didn't pull him out, but that's okay. We'll do the bumblebee later. All right, so we're gonna move on because we're running behind schedule. Running behind schedule. All right, we're gonna cut this piece here, so bear with me one minute. I think this is a half an inch. We're gonna put this little strip, and um, this is two and a half inches. So let me cut a two and a half inch piece, and I'm gonna trim this down because it's a little too thick. So we're gonna go two and a half, and we'll trim this. Trim it down to, yeah, that's an inch. Let's cut this down to um, let's do a cut. Oh, yeah, let's do a half an inch. All right, so I'm gonna hold that. And hopefully, it doesn't move. No, it's a half an inch. It's gonna be. I think that's gonna be too small. Yep, I need three quarters of an inch. I don't know what I was thinking. All right, let me just cut that one more time. Are y'all having fun yet? Watch me do all my mistakes. <laughs> all right, so we're gonna do three. And, we're gonna do three quarters of an inch. So you can add that to your measurements. Three quarters of an inch just for this little strip. It's just gonna trim this down just a little bit. There we go. There we go. Okay, let's get this out of the way. We'll worry about that later. And then this one we're gonna stamp. Uh, what are we gonna stamp on here? It's uh, you are easy to love is what we put on the inside. So let me grab that stamp. Uh, we don't want that one. Here we go. And all right, so we're gonna use that petal pink. It's not gonna show up, but it's just gonna be like, um, you know, kind of like a watermark in a sense. You can you can see it, but it's not gonna be anything that's gonna be real prevalent. So let's just put that on there. And you can always stamp a darker color if you want, right? All right, I stamped a little bit harder on that one. Oh, look at that, I cut, oh, what am I thinking? This piece is, what did I do here? Hang on. Oh, guess what I did? I stamped that on there like a dodo head. Okay, 
All right, well, anyways, you see what I'm doing? We would have stamped that on here. I'm such, it's because I'm rushing. Okay. That's why that didn't work. I don't know what I had that for. That's for my other piece. All right, we're going to stamp this real quick. I don't know what I was thinking. This is the piece that goes in here, like that. And we're going to be able to see our piece on the bottom, aren't we? All right, I'm going to leave that the way that is, okay? That way we have room if we want to write something um, on the inside. So we're going to leave that that way. Let me flip over and uh, we're just going to move on. Okay, so let's see. Let's see, let's see. Oh, I've got ink on here. Oh no. I've got black ink on that. So I'm going to have to put some embellishments over that. All right, let's go ahead, and I've probably got ink on my fingers. Oh, here's my other piece right here. That's okay. All right, we're gonna do this. This is gonna go here. I am going to fix that. We'll cover it up somehow if I have to add something later. So let's go ahead and add this to the front. My mistake, sorry, ladies. All right, somehow, is it laying back over there by the um, ink? The memento, you know, memento ink tends to get on everything, doesn't it? So we're going to put this right about here, and I am going to figure out some way to hide that later. Okay, so this piece is going to go right here. So we're going to add some adhesive to the back of this, and this is going to get uh, laid down. And you can use your uh, stamp and seal too, or your seal whichever you prefer. And so I'm just gonna lay this, butt this up to here, and that's gonna come down there, and then I'm gonna shut that, and that's gonna hold that in. So now this one's gonna open, and then I should have had my other piece, which is right here, will go in here, okay? I'll stamp it the same way um, with the little one. And this one was supposed to be, well, it didn't have to be anyways. Um, and then I cut this one out, okay? But since we're running a little low on time, we'll, um, well, let me go ahead and do this one. Let's just do it the right way. And I've got a scrap here, a scrap here. So this is gonna go on the inside here. And this one, didn't we already stamp that one? Oh, I stamped it on a little one. Okay. Am I going crazy yet? Yes. All right, so let me find my little stamp again. Here we go. My apologies, everybody. We're gonna get this done, and it's my mistake for messing things up. So let's do this. This is supposed to be, I'm gonna cut, measure this the right size now, three in an eighth, if I'm not mistaken. Let's do three in an eighth. The next card is really um, pretty, that one's not gonna take that long, right? That's what she says. Okay, I think this should be right, right? Three quarters, that's close enough. We'll go with that one. All right, so this is gonna go on here. It's a little fat though, isn't it? But that's all right, we'll do that one. Okay, so we're gonna fix, um, all right, let's do our love thing. We're going to fix that black ink somehow, some way. So let's go ahead and stamp this on here. All right, we're gonna add this to our white piece after we stamp our flower. Okay, we haven't done that yet, have we? Nope, because this one's gonna go here. Are y'all still with me? All right, let's try this again. All right, we're moving. Boy, by the time we get done, we're gonna be an expert on this thing, aren't we? We'll be an expert on lining up and stamping this stamp. I want to make sure I get all my ink on it. And this is going to go just like that. My apologies, everyone. I get excited. There we go. And it kind of gives it like a little bit of a wash look. And then we're going to come back because we need to do our two little guys. I'm going to put them on here. I gotta put my pieces on here so I don't lose these little tiny guys. They're so small, I'm afraid they're gonna get lost. And, all right, where is, 
All right, I'm looking for my evergreen ink. Here it is. All right, one last thing. So we're going to do that. And we'll align that right there so that y'all can see. Put that right there. All right, close him up. All right, now we can get doing what we need to do here. So this is gonna go on here. I'm gonna lay this right down like that. And it's not quite uh, long enough, but that's fine. No one's gonna know. I'm just gonna add some of my seal on it. And I'll just have a little bit of an edge to the edge with a little gap. So it looks like it's supposed to be like that. All right, so that's gonna go in here. So we will add this. I'm having hot flashes or something. I'm not sure what's going on. All right, so that's going to go in here. Whoopsie. So let me get that over here, get it straight. One thing nice about the, the Tombow is it definitely lets you move your uh, stuff around when you need to. Okay, that irritates me, but that's okay. We're going to deal with it. All right, so here we're going to go ahead and glue these two pieces together. So we're going to cover up this balmy blue and put that on here. All right. Now, here we go again. We're going to stamp one more flower. <laughs> yeah, we're going to go, what in the wild world sports are you doing? And this is one we're going to cut it out, but it won't take long to cut. So we're going to cut this on. We're going to stamp this on a scrap. And we'll do our, um, again, we'll do the same color scheme like we did before. I think this should fit on here. And I've marked that as scrap, so we're going to stamp that right about there. You've watched me stamp these things enough now. Y'all definitely should know how to do this, right? Because the woman is um, losing her mind over here, I think. Okay. All right, so we're going to do our leaves again. And our evergreen and we've got those so let's get these lined up I should have done this when I um all right so I'm gonna load I gotta turn it a little bit get over there all right I think that's good okay and then we're gonna come back with um, well we got the green out we're gonna use this little guy again. Try to keep all my stamps in my um, uh, chamois. And we're gonna go ahead and stamp this green here. So we're gonna um, hover over that again. And I think we should be good right there. Yep. All right, and then we'll come back and do our pink flowers. And then we'll cut this one out real quick. Bear with me, everyone. Are you still there? Practice, practice, practice. You got that right. I'll have this down to a science. Okay, now we're going to do our flowers. Do petal pink. And then we should be good to go. We'll cut it. It won't take that long for me to cut that out. All right, so we're going to put that in here. Hopefully we've got it lined up. It looks like it. At least I got the flowers down. Okay, move that out of the way. All right, let's get the snippies out and start chopping. Okay, y'all are still hanging in there with me. Thank you. Yeah, I'm going to put, um, I think I'll find some gems to cover up that uh, ink. And um, so let me just cut this out real quick so that way y'all can at least see the finished card, even though you, you saw it on the when I did it originally. And then the next one is a real cute one. And um, I honestly didn't think it was going to take me this long by making all these freaking mistakes. So my apologies. But it's kind of good, you know. We all make mistakes. And it's, you know, we all, we just, you know, we're not perfect. So we all do it. That's just, unfortunately, that's the way it is. And that's okay. We learn. And I learn by watching others do it. And it's okay, right? So we're just going to trim off this and come around. 
and really, you know, we, we, I think we worry about more what our cards look like because when it gets to the person that gets it, they have no idea what this thing is supposed to look like. And all they're going to look at is a beautiful flower and a card that's handmade. So they aren't even, they don't even know what to look for if there's something that's um, a flaw, if you will. I mean, unless it's a major like my black spots, but you know what I mean? So honestly, they're not going to know because they don't. You know, when I before I got into this, if somebody sent me a handmade card, I would have had no idea what what I was looking. You know, if I was supposed to be looking, not that you'd be looking to see what they made mistakes on, but you know what I mean. You just see a beautiful card, and you're like, oh my gosh, the person took the time to make me this card. That's how I look at it, right? But if you're a perfectionist, it's, a, it's hard, I know, because I had customers that were that way, and they had a really hard time trying not to have everything be perfect. And there were some nights they, you know, I was in a rent, you know, not I rented, I got it through the rec center. It, um, they didn't charge, but I was, under, you know, we only had so much time we could use because, but I was lucky enough, I was the last one in the evening, so if we ran over, um, and we ran, it, it was supposed to be out there around 8, Eight o'clock, six, yeah, eight o'clock. If we ran until 8.30, they normally, the person that was working didn't care because nobody else was coming in behind us. So that was a nice thing. But um, there was one night, I can't even remember what we were doing. We didn't get out of there until nine o'clock. And some of it was some people were just being a little persnickety um, with their cards, which, you know, I mean, and I try to hurry them, which is, you know, you can't help it because you got to get out of the room. But of course, then that makes you nervous anyways, right? Because you feel like you're, you're being rushed and then you make mistakes like what I did because I do that to myself right that's what happens okay so now we're gonna put this on our card and we're gonna use our dimensionals so we're gonna pop this up let's go ahead and attach this guy because I'm gonna put it like this and then I'll add my stamp to it so I'm gonna put some adhesive from about here up we want to make sure we get it right right in the right spot oh get over there all right so we're going to lay this down and then i'm just going to put it right about there and try to give it a little bit of a little bit of a so you can see the different layers and i think that's probably pretty good all right so let's put this guy up on dimensionals and as you can see i use scraps <laughs> hang on Oh my goodness. All right, so we'll put one here and we'll put one here. There we go. Some of these uh, dimensionals, I've noticed lately that the bottom pieces kind of are coming off too and that's a little frustrating because you're trying to peel. I know I'm, I'm loading them up on uh, dimensionals. You're trying to peel them and all of a sudden you've got um, bottoms and tops you're trying to peel off. All right, so give me a second. I'm just tossing these things in my little uh, trash cans that I got at the dollar store. I love that store. Okay, so we're gonna take this and we're gonna place that right about there. Now, see how the different colors come when you when you stamp it? Isn't that wild? And I think part of that might have been because of my stamp had that dark on it, even though I cleaned, I cleaned it. All right, so then we're gonna do our um, sentiment which, um, where is my little piece of white paper? There it is. And this one we're gonna stamp, um, make it this a birthday card. So let's pull in, I'm gonna use the evergreen just like I did there. And we'll trim this down. So we'll stamp that right about here. Okay. Oh, hang on a minute, my little thing is acting like my internet's are y'all still with me? Because this thing's like my internet's not, um, like it's not um, hitting on all cylinders. It's in the yellow, which means it's a low, must be a low signal. All right, and then I'm just going to angle. For some reason, I, I get into these angle step stand, um, cuts. I'm not sure why I do. And then I'm just going to lay this down. I'm not popping this one up. I'll just put a little bit of uh, seal on it um, because it's already popped up, so we don't really want to pop anything else up. All right, so there we go. It only took us 40 minutes to get this card done. <laughs> All right, so there we go. Isn't that pretty, though? I mean, don't you just love it? Ignore that. I'll figure out how to cover that up. 
And there we go. I just think that is so clever. Don't you like that? All right. Okay, last card. And then this one, I'm going to do my envelope with the pink, but I'll do that later because I don't want to hold this up while we do that. All right, let's move on to this next card. Okay, the next one is from the Raining, uh, Playing in the Rain. And I'm also using uh, the sentiment from Sending Support. This is a celebration. And then Playing in the Rain, just to let you all know, the stamp set's available, the paper's available, but the, um, the dies are on back order until the end of March. So just to keep you in mind, okay, uh, let you know that. Okay, so here's the card. This is an envelope flap, look at this. It pop, use this to pop up, that holds your thing, and then you open your card. Now I didn't put anything on the inside. Isn't that clever? And it's just a, a card base. So I'm gonna show you how to do this. This is, this is a pretty easy one. I just have to do some coloring. All right, so let's pull out this. Let's get everything going here. All right, I am using, my card base is Cajun Craze, which is five and a half by uh, four and a quarter. And then I'm using Mango, Melody Mango, which is uh, five and a quarter by eight. So we're gonna fold it in half at four inches. And I obviously didn't score to that. It doesn't look like it's four. Hang on a minute. Hold up, hold up, hold up. This should be eight inches. Yep, it's eight, so where is my four? Hang on, eight, half of eight's four. So it's off a little bit, isn't it? It's just the way it, it's just the way it folds. Okay, just wanted to make sure. Scored at four, so we're gonna fold that over. And sometimes when you fold the cards, um, I fold it both directions, because sometimes if I fold it the opposite way, it um, does a little bit better. This one is obviously, let me fold it back this way. This one's obviously off for whatever reason, so I'm just gonna hold that down and I'm gonna force it like that. And you won't be able to see that because that's all gonna be hidden. So let me take my bone folder and just give it a good burnish that way. Okay, all right, and then we're gonna take a piece of uh, basic white, which is a three and seven eighths by five and an eighth. All right, so this will go on here. Let me get it this way. We're gonna have it open. So that's gonna go like that where we're gonna do our design. This will get attached to the here, but the first thing we're gonna do is then you're gonna take a piece of designer paper, <clears throat> and this is the rain, and this is three quarters square. So three quarters by three quarters. We're gonna fold this in half. Let me see which way I want my half to go because I want my raindrops. All right, so I'm going to fold it like this in half. And then I want, I'm going to try to get to where my, it looks like my raindrops are falling on the card, right? <clears throat> so we want to make sure I get it this way. And then we're going to take this and we're going to place that. This piece right here is going to get glued to the back of this, right? We're going to glue that down, okay? That's going to get attached to our card base, and then we'll put our inside piece, and then we'll do our outside piece. So we can go ahead and glue this down now. So let's go ahead and do that. So we're going to put some um, adhesive right here, and I'm going to put it right along the line and up. Okay? And we'll put that right here, and I'm just going to butt it up to my score line and push it over and fold it in. Okay, all right, so there's that, the back of our card, okay? And then this is gonna get glued down to the card base, so let's go ahead and do that. And you can see where my fold is off a little bit, but that's all right. All right, so that's gonna hide the uh, fold of our flappy do thing, okay? So now we're gonna take this, and I'm gonna fold this shut because it's easier to place this on here, right? So I'm gonna lay this down. I've got the flap on the inside, so don't worry, it's not glued down. All right, so I'm gonna lay that there. I'm gonna just try to make sure I get it straight. There we go. All right, so there's that, okay? All right, and then we're gonna have our inside piece. We'll go here, and then we need another inside piece. Let me grab that. This one, um, Let's see what this one is. This one, yeah, we'll do this one. I need to trim this down just a little bit. Let me just trim this real quick. That should be 
three and seven eighths by five and an eighth. So hang on one second. Three and seven eighths. By five and an eighth. Five and an eighth. Okay. So that will go on the inside of our card. Or this is going to go on the front. We're going to do some stamping. And then the one on the inside is where you're going to write your message. And you can put something in here if you want. I'm going to go ahead and glue this down. I'm not going to uh, stamp anything on the inside at this point. I'm going to wait and figure out um, what I want this card to be for. I mean, I think it's probably going to be like a get well type card since the guy is in the, like under the weather. And so I'm just going to lay that right about there. Okay, now this piece, then we're going to go ahead and stamp. So we're going to bring in, we've got our clouds and our black memento ink. How can we live without that? <laughs> All right, so we're going to get our clouds. <clears throat> we'll stamp those. <clears throat> Pardon me. All right, and then I'm going to stamp my fox, but he's going to get stamped and cut out. So give me one second. Let me just clean off my clouds real quick. I just don't like the ink to sit very long. And uh, let me get my uh, fox, and we're gonna cut. We're gonna stamp him. Let's move this out of the way. That's gonna. He's gonna be our uh, closing mechanism. And then we'll stamp something on the inside. So I'm gonna stamp him right here cover up this black ink. What time is it? How are we doing on time? Oh, it's almost, we're going to be here till 830. I am so sorry. Ooh, that one got a little bit too much black ink on that, didn't it? Let's try this again. Let's try not to put so much ink on him. Yeah, I got to be careful when we uh, ink these things up. I must have put a little bit too much on here. I'm going to try to keep it from getting too glunky. All right, let's do that. We'll stamp him right here. There we go. Get it, it goes from one thing or the other, right? And this is going to get cut out. So let's. Uh, we're going to just color this real quick. <clears throat> we're going to pull in our uh, Poppy Parade uh, light and dark. So I'm going to come in with my dark stamp and blend, and I'm just going to come around the the edges of the umbrella and the lines, trying to give it a little bit of depth. We'll add some there. All right, and that, and then we'll come up here. All right, and then we'll come back in and color that. I've got glue on my fingers. <coughs> we'll color that with our light. That one's not, that one <coughs> looks like it's dried out. I don't use these um, as often as I probably should. You know, sometimes you get into the habit of using the same colors all the time, right? And then you go back and you're like, why didn't I use that guy? All right, so we'll just color this real quick. This shouldn't take too long. Just the fat tip would have been a lot easier because I could have covered a lot more space. But that's all right. It's probably due to be replaced here at some point in time. So we'll just color him. All right, so there's our umbrella. All right, <clears throat> pardon me, let's color our fox. So we're gonna color him. Um, <clears throat> this is one of the, pardon me. <clears throat> this is um, one of the uh, skin tone colors and this is number 200. Let me see, I think, hopefully he's not gonna be too dark. I don't think so. Yeah, we're just gonna color his tail um, this color. Could, it'd be nice if we had like a, probably could have done Cajun Craze or something like that, but that's okay. So he's going to have the black, uh, the brown tail, and then he'll have the white tippies. Okay, and then we're going to color his legs. I think this is a little bit darker than I did on the other one, but that's all right. All right, so we're going to color his little leg. Make sure we don't go out of the lines. Look at that little foot. He's a tiny little foot. And then we gotta get his little hands holding the umbrella right there. 
and then this little guy is in his hand, his coat. All right, and then we need to do his face and his ears. I love to color. I used to color all the time when I was little. And we don't want to color his hat, but we do want to color his face. So let's go in here. I'm going to do this real quick. All right, let's get... And then we're going to do a little bit of um, using our blender uh, pens to color his jacket and his hat because um, I, not realizing that Mango Melody was carrying over years ago when it came out, I, um, <clears throat> I got rid of my um, Mango Melody marker and I just, I, have never not, I haven't bought another one, so I don't think we have one actually, or do we? Oh, we may have one, I don't know. I haven't looked at it. Okay, so I need to, I'm bringing in my blender pen in the Mango Melody. And we're gonna color him real quick, and then we'll color the clouds. We gotta cut him up. <clears throat> so I'm just gonna add a little color here. <clears throat> Get some color. I'm sorry, my throat has decided it wants to scratch now. All right, so we're just gonna uh, color his hat. I'm not sure what color, this, yeah, this got a little bit too much on the, um, initially on the paper. Just add some here and do his coat. Probably should do the water, but um, watercolor brushes, but that's all right. This will work. Let me just bring it over. My husband's probably wondering what happened to me. Like, what happened to that woman? All right. Yeah, I'm not doing a good job coloring this, am I? Yeah, you got to be careful with this because it will start peeling the paper if you're not careful. I was trying to remember how I did that one because the color is different. I'm not sure what I did, to be honest. I didn't write it down. That wasn't too smart, was it? <laughs> All right, so we're cleaning that off. <coughs> Okie dokie. All right, so let's cut him. He's probably not going to look as pretty as the one there, but it's okay. All right, we're doing some more fussy cutting. <clears throat> and this is really an easy card because if you're not going to fussy cut, well, you gotta, you got to either put something up on dimensionals because that's what's going to um, hold your um, card closed, put it on dimensionals. But I just you know, thought we'll just cut out the fox and use him, which is, you know, you've got him, so we might as well use him, right? So we'll just cut his tail. Thank you guys for hanging out with me until 8.30. I apologize for it taking this long, but I do appreciate you uh, hanging out. And we'll kind of come down here and try to cl uh, clean out some of this white down here. We'll just come around. Get his tail and go up. And we'll go around his umbrella. Get that piece out of my way. And some people are really good um, fussy cutters. I'm not. I'm not quite sure. I watch people and they just know how to hover just enough space around it where you still still see a little bit of the white border. And I, I can't. <clears throat> I don't know what it is. Maybe because I rush, but I never get the up. You know, see. The white border which is I think is how it's supposed to be done but um, I don't know all right so we're just gonna cut around that little guy and get around his nose and we'll be done here in just a few minutes get around the hook of his umbrella I do try to keep it in the back of the scissors and turn the paper but sometimes it's a little bit harder to maneuver. I guess if I practice, I'd probably be better at this, huh? Okay, we're getting there. Getting down to the last leg. Okay, there we go. Got him all cut up. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, so we're gonna come in. Let's color our clouds real quick. We're going to use, which one is this one? 
this is the light so I'm going to take the dark and I'm just going to go through where the um, we're going to make this look kind of dreary right so let's color we'll color this and then I'm going to come back with the gray to make it look like um, it's a little bit stormy looking out so this is the light smoky slate in case you're wondering all right Okay, so don't forget, you guys, that this is the last week of celebration, so make sure you get your orders in sooner than later because things are selling out. And then also there's the join um, offer, and I did that video on, I did a video on that too um, yesterday. What's today? I think it was yesterday, if I'm not mistaken. Take a look at that. Um, I go into detail of how I joined, why I joined, and what you're getting and basically it's kind of like a no-brainer in my mind that I don't like that well let's do it um, you're gonna get a hundred you're gonna need $175 of product for either 99 or if you want the little uh, mini cut and boss machine <clears throat> you could get that pay 129 and get that plus $175 and product so it's kind of like a no-brainer so if you have um, a major wish list then that's something that you may want to consider and you would then get a 20% discount until the end of June and at that time if you don't do anything then you just um, you just go back to being a customer paying full price okay so no obligations to sell anything no obligation to hold classes no obligation to do anything um, as far as Facebook lives unless you want to but you're not you don't have to so just throwing that out there It's a great opportunity. Where can you get $76 in free stuff, right? Okay, so we're going to take our um, Fox and we're going to first of all I'm going to add this to my card because I want to make sure my flap is going to uh, close correctly so let me go ahead and add my adhesive to this and we'll go ahead and get this on here and then we'll be finished up. Okay, so let's get him on here. And put that right about there. And I did have a sentiment in here actually. I'm gonna put it, um, I'll put it on the inside. Okay, so this guy's gonna get popped up on dimensionals because he's gonna be our locking mechanism. So we're gonna put some dimensionals here and hell. We'll put a bunch now I got to be careful of where I put them because um, we want to make sure that this guy is going to flap in there and if I get um, it in the way which I think I might be all right okay so let's uh, take the dimensionals off and then we're going to add the Fox and I'm not going to push him down all the way because I want to make sure that I can get him where it's gonna the flap will fold in like this and tuck under so I've got a dimensional right there so I need to move I think I need to move this one so let me take this dimensional off all right and we'll put him right there because we might need him somewhere else all right so let's put him right here again now this is gonna fold so let's do it that way let's just put him right about there and I don't, I mean, I gotta move this one off his tail, move it down just a little bit. So we don't want him sticking there either. Okay, there we go. All right, so that's how it closes, okay? So we're gonna open it, and then you can put your sentiment, or you can put a sentiment over here if you want. I'm gonna put one on the inside, and then um, if you think the outside looks um, a little naked, then you can dress it up however you would like. And this one is just going to say that some days are harder than um, some days are harder than others, and we'll just put that right there. Okay, doke. And then we'll close up our card. Make sure the black ink dries, and then we'll close up the card. And you could put something up here. Okay. Now that it took me that long, let's bring in the cards that we made. Yay! she's done finally all right here we go here are the cards that we made this evening what do you think about that isn't that great oh thank you Marsha I always make mistakes but you know what whatever <laughs> 
Mango, yeah, that's what I thought. And I, yeah, that's why I thought the um, blender pens didn't carry over. And that's why I probably sold them, but not why I, you know, anyways. All right, so there are the cards. Thank you so much, you guys, for being patient with me and um, watching my craziness and my mistakes. And anyways, I hope you've enjoyed these. If you make any of these cards, please share. I'd love to see um, what you all do. And um, again, they're really easy cards. So in this one, I just love this one. I think that one's a really pretty one. I think they're all cute. So, all right, everyone, it is 8.30. My apologies for uh, being 30 minutes over, but it's, you know, we, it is what it is. So, all right, <clears throat> pardon me. I will see you all next Tuesday. So have a great week and make sure you look for my video on joining and then also the one for the one sheet wonder and if you can't find it message me and i'll send you the link all right everyone have a great evening see you next tuesday bye now